YouTube in particular had caused a lot of rifts between these two nations. Those of you that watched the 13th African game, there was one video that someone uploaded out there of the journalist in Ghana and Nigeria bantering inside the bus. I wasn't actually listening more to what our Nigerian brother was saying. I was watching the countenance of the Ghanaian brothers. You will see that love there. You will see some other Nigerians there. They love existing. The laughter. That is what matters. I will still say it. Apart from the love banter and football rivalry, any other thing you people are doing on this social media, you are on your own. And for as long as I'm on this channel, I will debunk all the lies. Do Ghanaians hate Nigerians? Well, the hate is just a mirage. As far as the real world is concerned, it is not real. It is on social media and it needs to stop. Eka saw my people. Otto Jometa. It's really been a while now. Baoni. Yeah, I know you are all doing fine. So I know a lot of you will be asking questions. Like what is the meaning of this topic? Shemole Bere Just answer the truth. How do you really feel about Ghanaians as a Nigerian? How do you really feel as a Ghanaian towards Nigerian? It took me strength and zeal to create this content. However, before I continue, I would love us to know that there are certain videos I created and I privatized them only for members of this channel. So you can go through membership so that you'll be able to watch some content that I created. Okay. I know some of you are saying, oh, what is the meaning of this? Stop this. We Ghanaians, we don't hate Nigerians. We don't hate them at all. Why are you making up stories? Why are you trying to cause feud between two nations? You know? Yeah. Maybe you have a point. And some of my Nigerians will come and say, Oh, show them. Tell them. You are correct. You are absolutely correct. They don't like us. Ghanaians, they hate us with passion. Maybe... You may have a point though. <laughs> hey, both of you, so, hmm? Farabelle, calm down. You are both correct and you are both wrong. Let's be honest with this analysis. It means that something is wrong somewhere. Let's talk about them. What exactly is the problem? Why do Nigerians feel that Ghanaians hate them? And why do Ghanaians feel that they don't hate Nigerians? Why is there that feud between these two countries despite their relationship? Number one, the untold history. Between this nation, there has been feud before now. Okay? Something happened in Ghana a while ago and something happened in Nigeria. It may not just be the one we know as a nation. There might have also been some history or stories that happened at the background that was buried. I'm just going to give you an instance, just like two brothers. Maybe something happened when they were young and later they decided to make peace and bury what happened. Something may happen in future that will cause a reflection back to what happened before. And most of these stories or histories we are untold. And this is why I tell people to always tell your people the truth of what happened. In Ghana, what happened in 1957, 35, 69, they don't talk about it there. In Nigeria, if not for the bad, Ghana must go. Many Nigerians do not talk about what happened in 1983. You see, each country is trying to favor themselves by trying to bury what happened in each of the nation. When elders decided to conceal the truth from their younger ones, 
Some agitations may come up without knowing the real reason. Always project what happened out there so that people will know the truth. Both sides will be able to come to terms with what happened. Most of the time online, when some issues happened, you will see Ghanaians shouting, Oh, you Nigerians, that's how you sent us out of Nigeria. You dealt with us in 1983, days and that. Then Nigerians will say, Oh, that was what you people did to us in 1969, days and that. Now, people in Ghana did not know what happened in 1969. The elders who knew did not talk about it. Majority of the youth in 1969 are more than 70 years old, so most of them are not even on social media. Those on social media may be very young at that time, and they will not be in the best position to talk about what happened, except you decided to visit the elderly ones. And this is part of the problems we are facing between these two countries. When it comes to Banza, it is Jollof. Of course, somebody will say, oh, Jollof is all about the person that made the food, not about the country. We know that. But sometimes there is banter. This form of argument or dialogue will initiate and water relevance between these two countries. Even you, between you and your sibling, the moment you people argue, you know, you banter back and forth, there is that love, there is that laughter being shared between you and your sibling. So it is healthy for as long as people are not going overboard. As for football, we are rivals. Of course, it keeps each other on their toes. It initiates that necessitation to buckle down and work hard. That is also part of relevance. It is important too. There is nothing wrong with it. Apart from your love banter and football rivalry, every other thing you see, my hands are not there. I don't know what they are doing. Ranging from entertainment and other arguments and accusations, those things do not exist. Except certain things that started emanating. And that will bring me to point number two, individual personality. You see, in these two countries, there are people who are bitter naturally. There are people who have issues with themselves. And there are people who have this complexity problem. Either superiority complex or inferiority complex. There are people who do not even like themselves, talk more of liking you. And you will see most of them jumping from one conversation to another to cause issues. Some of them, they will enter social media to project their anger, their personal anger on an entire nation. So, this has to do with personality. There are people unprovoked who will decide to say certain things that will cause problem. Let me give you an example. You will see a Nigerian making video praising Nigeria or a foreigner making videos praising Nigeria without bringing up any Ghanaian content or bringing in Ghanaian, you will go to the comment section and you will see a Ghanaian who will go there and start bashing the Nigerian or the foreigner and telling them that they are lying, abusing them. That is a personality problem. It has nothing to do with the entire Ghanaian. It has to do with that particular Ghanaian. And when they do that, single them out and call them out. The same thing, there are some contents praising Ghanaians without triggering Nigerians. You will see a Nigerian that will go there to bash Ghanaians. That has nothing to do with Nigerians. It has to do with the individual that made such statements and such individuals should be called out. Some of them are toxic in nature. Some are narcissists. And what do you do? You whip them out. They have personality problem. I will always say this. When you get a bunch of banana and maybe one in the middle or by the side is getting spoiled, what do you do? You pluck it off from others. Because if you don't, if you leave it there, 
by the next morning it would have infected others before you know it others will start spoiling so do not say oh it is just one person no before you know it they will become two they will become three and they will spread like wild fire part of the problems we are having are these bad apples and some of these bad apples this will take me to the next point our content creators too yes content creators youtubers hey you have decided to cause problem that wasn't there in 2019 and 2020 the youtube platform wasn't this toxic many nigerians and many Ghanaians didn't know what was going on when you ask a Ghanaian then their intentions or how they feel about nigerians it was all good when you ask a nigerian it was all good then was when we had the Wodemaya. When Wodemaya was moving from one African country to another, I think it was in Nigeria then, Wodemaya created a lot of content about Nigeria. That young man presented Nigeria and promoted Nigeria to the world. Go and check his contents. I am not his fan. I am just saying the truth. I do not need to like somebody to say the truth about them. Wodemaya projected the image of Nigeria so positive to the world. Yes, our image was already good there. Though we do have some issues, but Wodemaya focused on the positives in Nigeria. He promoted innocent. He promoted so many companies. Some startup companies, some streets. He showcased the beauty of Abuja. Sometimes even playing our anthems and he gathered a lot of views. Some of you will say, oh, he was doing those things for views. I don't think so. Not everybody who wanted to praise a country is looking for views. Because while praising Nigeria, he never bashed Ghana. Only one or two times he complained about not giving him access to interview some Ghanaians. Meaning that he wanted to project Ghana to the world. Then we had people like Wodemaya, the entire, you know, some other people started coming up. Some Nigerians went into Ghana and started projecting the positive image of Ghana to the world. And it was all good. Only one person that was doing one kind of videos like that, but it wasn't really relevant because a lot of people capitalize on the positive. Until somebody started doing what shocked me in Ghana as a Nigerian. Now, the first person that started this did not criticize Nigeria. It was all about humor. If you watch that content, even when I watched the content then, I laughed all through. You will see the love there. And even the comment section was so healthy. Ghanaians, they were praising Nigerians. Nigerians, they were praising Ghanaians. It was healthy conversation and humor. The next thing they did another content from there other people started joining you know one thing about something being in full before we know it some nigerian students in ghana and those in nigeria started shooting their content and before you know it it went out of hand that is where individual personality comes again before you know it some of them lost track of why they even started and before you know it the anger started brewing because let me be honest with you some of you Ghanaians are even so angry when someone even calls out something obviously that happened so when if you are agitated and angry over such a small issue you should now imagine how Nigerians feel when our very own people do such things against their people there is nothing wrong with promoting another country if you discovered your niche being promoting Ghana, please promote Ghana. And when you are promoting Ghana, please look for good contents. Look for good buildings. Look for good hospitals. Look for good schools. When you want to project a country, project their best to the world. But when you are projecting them, do not bring the backside of another country. 
focus on projecting them. There are good topics you can create out there that will showcase the country you have decided to project. But when you are doing it, please do not bring down your own country. That is all we are asking of you. The same thing because I've started noticing another trend. I've started noticing some wave, you know, of Ghanaians speaking good of Nigeria. Please, my dear brothers and sisters, I will still want to remind you now that it is still early. Focus on promoting Nigeria. Do not put down your own nation. Yes, you can call out individuals when they do certain things wrong. Yes. But please, do not pull down the image of your nation just to please we Nigerians. My hand in no day. I will not support it. We need to be honest with ourselves. Many Nigerians outside social media would tell you they so much love Ghana. Most of them started becoming bitter when they entered YouTube and started watching what is going on. My dear, it is irritating. We need to stop it. There are good things to promote about your country. Someone decided to project South Africa. Please, when you want to project South Africa, project the best of South Africa. Project the best so that when someone is surfing the internet and want to watch it, the person will be happy. And when you are projecting South Africa, don't bring down another nation by the side just because you want to project South Africa. Because when you are promoting these countries, the comment section is the main thing. Most people get agitated, not even by what you said, but by the comments of people there. Someone made a comment about a particular hospital in South Africa being the best in Africa. And a South African asked a simple question. Are you trying to say, are you saying that you don't have such a building in Nigeria? They asked a simple question. And he said no. Nothing of such. I think that is a very wrong thing. No matter the country you are from, if you want to promote another country, promote them. And also do research about your own country. There are good things in your country, whether Nigeria or Ghana. And always balance your reports. You can't come today and speak ill of a country. Tomorrow you'll come back and speak ill of the same country. Next tomorrow you'll come back and speak ill of the same country. No! You are wrong. Each country has something good they are doing, despite the bad ones that you are seeing. Outside social media space, there is no hate, except personality issues. If you are in Ghana, and maybe you happen to have a problem with somebody, it is an individual problem. If Ghanaians hate you, they wouldn't have even allowed Nigerians to buy houses in Ghana. See, I will stand on the truth. There are many Nigerians, especially celebrities, who have houses in Ghana. Who sold those houses to them? Ghanaians. If they don't like you, they will not bring your musicians, your gospel artists, to their country. Even recently, one caused an issue. We all know about the pastors that voiced out his concern. If Ghanaians do not love Nigerians, would they bring pastors from Nigeria to come to Ghana? No. So, it boils down to content creation. When you wake up to make videos, and you are projecting a particular country, and you are jabbing your own country, oh, they don't have this, see what these people have. You gather people from your nation in another land, and you are interviewing them to speak ill of their own nation. Kilode. Our own people are the ones destroying us in Ghana. And Ghanaians are spectators. Because when you argue with any Ghanaian, they don't have any facts on their own. How many of them have been to Nigeria? Those in Ghana in particular. They will always tell you, oh, what your sister said. Oh, let me refer you to what your sister said. Mm -mm. Find out the truth and tell me the truth. And please, I will also want to talk to my Ghanaians who are already promoting Nigeria currently. Yes. Some of you are still doing well now, but please do not deviate. And because you know you have a lot of numbers when it comes to Nigerians, please 
focus on promoting Nigeria and sometimes promote your own country. In fact, you can balance it. Some of you know about a Ghanaian YouTuber, uh, Kojo Sheldon. I started watching Kojo Sheldon when he was still young in his YouTube. Then he would pick on so many celebrities in the nation, you know, it would be buzz booze. Then he entered Nigerian space. He was promoting Nigeria. He would promote Nigeria. He would promote Nigeria. He cannot, he also come one day ambitious. You know, he balanced his content. Just like Wodemaya. When Wodemaya praised Nigeria and promoted Nigeria, they did not bash their own nation. That guy went to so many places in Nigeria. He spent his money creating content to promote Nigeria. Whether you like it or not, it works. If you go on YouTube today, you'll see a lot of his contents. That is why he had gone far in life. Listen, you cannot destroy your own nation and go far. You can't. Because the number one blessings will come from your own nation. Even if you've chosen not to promote them, but don't speak ill, don't track them, don't tarnish their image continuously. Now, Wode is moving around the world. He's promoting his nation, he's promoting Africa. The same thing with Kojo Sheldon. Kojo Sheldon is balancing his contents. And that is why Kojo Sheldon may bash Nigerians, and Nigerians won't attack him. He will bash his own people. If there is any good news in Ghana, Kojo Sheldon will rush and talk about the good news. And he will push Ghana to the world. That is balancing content. If all you do is to speak good of Nigeria and you are bashing Ghanaians, you bash Ghanaians today, bash them tomorrow, bash, that is no longer content. Only you know your agenda. My hand in no day. And I will support you. I know my opinion doesn't matter, but I will still put up my opinion out there. If you are a Ghanaian and you have chosen to be promoting Nigerians and Nigerian things, stick to promoting them. You can as well also balance it by also promoting your nation because you've gotten a lot of audience. But if you have chosen not to promote your nation, maybe your niche is only to promote Nigeria, go ahead, but please do not bring down your own nation. That is how it works. And as for you Nigerians in Ghana, on and under four months, Nigeria is not doing everything bad all the time. You can focus and promote Ghanaians. That is very okay. But please, when you are promoting Ghana, leave Nigeria alone. Leave us alone and promote Ghana. If there is nothing good about Nigeria for you to promote, please focus on promoting Ghana. Push Ghana to the world. There are Ghanaians who are already pushing Nigeria to the world. Let it exist like that. There is another important factor media presenters some of you are really causing a feud i don't know what you're trying to achieve i don't know whether you're trying to get attention or whether you're trying to destroy your own listen you have a voice i am different from a celebrity someone who works in a television station you are always being heard or being seen. Use your platform to say something good out there. I don't know whether you've watched celebrities. When Nigerian celebrities go to Ghana, they are very conscious of their statements. Some of you may say, oh, why are they always saying the positive ones? Why are they not saying the negative ones? Because they themselves on their own are marketing. They are marketing their brand. And they are marketing their nation. They are marketing themselves. When you see Ghanaian celebrities in Nigeria, no matter what you say, they will never say anything bad about Nigeria. That is how it works. Now you, on the media space, use your platform to speak good. Stop staying there to destroy the image of your artists. After destroying them, you will also be complaining that they are not entering the market of another nation. People from other nations, people from Nigeria are watching you direct. So it is no longer the time of television. They are watching you online. They are watching you slice your artists. You people don't know how strong your artists are. Stop comparing them to Nigerian artists. These artists are doing amazing. 
All they need is your support. All they need is you to push them out there. Not for you to be dragging this one. Today you drag Stone Boy. Tomorrow you drag Shatawale. Next tomorrow you drag Kim Promise. The next one is this person. You drag this. You drag this person. What is it? You will not end up dragging them and you want other people to do what? To praise them. Learn. Support your own will start from you. It is not all about playing their music. Uplift their personality. It is important. See in this channel, I will call both of you out. I am obligated to promote my nation, Nigeria. I am also obligated to speak the truth about Ghana. Especially the positive ones that will project Ghana to the world. I know they don't need me. But yes, that drop of oil still counts. None of you should tell me not to create content about Ghana. Why will I stop creating content about Ghana? When ECOWAS is trying their best to unite the two nations. And you want me to stop talking about it? I will keep talking about Ghana. I will keep speaking of the positive things in Ghana. And when some of you misbehave, I will call you out. Those of you that want to destroy the reputation between these two countries or the relationship between these two countries, I will call you out. Those of you with your necessary comparisons, I will call you out. So don't bother. I will always call the two countries. However, promote your nation. Don't speak ill of your nation. You can call out the bad things, but we know when it is becoming destructive and when you are being constructive. Do Ghanaians hate Nigerians? In the real sense of it, no. But in the online sense of it, yes. Based on what we are seeing, but all these things are mirage. I am not here to preach peace. What I'm just saying is this. If we do not curtail what is going on now, if Ghanaians do not stop Nigerians from destroying their nation and comparing them to Ghana, and if upcoming Ghanaians do not stick to only promoting and not entering to destroy their nation, a lot of things will go wrong. YouTube in particular had caused a lot of rifts between these two nations. Those of you that watched the 13th African game, there was one video that someone uploaded out there of the journalists in Ghana and Nigeria bantering inside the bus. I wasn't actually listening more to what our Nigerian brother was saying. I was watching the countenance of the Ghanaian brothers. You will see that love there. You will see some other Nigerians there. They love existing. The laughter. That is what matters. I will still say it. Apart from the love banter and football rivalry, any other thing you people are doing on this social media, you are on your own. And for as long as I'm on this channel, I will debunk all the lies. Do Ghanaians hate Nigerians? Well, the hate is just a mirage. As far as the real world is concerned, it is not real. It is on social media and it needs to stop.